Now, before we get started, can you give me your name for the record, please? Oh, yeah, sure. It's, uh, Heather. My name's Heather. That's not what it says in your patient record. Oh, right, right. Heather's, uh, just a nickname of mine. It's Darcy. Sorry for the confusion. You aren't from around here, are you? Could you tell me what state? State? Uh, sure. It's Pennsylvania. The police report says you're from Virginia, though. Ah, oh, right. Sorry. I always get Pennsylvania and Virginia mixed up, you know, because they are so close. Are you talking to me of your own volition? Yeah, yeah, of course. I just want to give my side of the story. All right. Thanks for that information. It's just a formality for the records. Yeah, it um seemed that way. Now, we don't have all the time in the world, so I won't bother you with going over the details. To keep it short, I need to ask you some questions about the university and your abduction. My... all right, that's fine. Go ahead. As I'm sure you remember, you requested this meeting. The police have provided me with a binder containing some of their evidence, which I'll be using to make sure you're taking this discussion seriously. They told me that you were quite uncooperative during initial questioning. It's just to make sure. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. Thank you for uh, agreeing to this. Okay. So, first of all, could you tell me a bit more about your experience at university? Yeah, yeah. I was abducted at Harbor University which is where I went to. It was, uh, fine. It's not as if my grades were bad or anything. I got on well, I guess. Until the, um, abduction, of course. It's a fairly big university, with lots of fields and classes. What did you major in? My major? Um, well, I took a bachelor's degree, so I took a lot of classes that weren't part of it. But it was, um, management. Your college records state that you majored in literature. Uh-oh. Um, I guess that was just a mistake. Yeah, no, I majored in literature. My head's just kind of all over the place, you know? Did you make any friends during your time at university? Any strong relationships with anyone? I mean, of course, I had a couple of friends. Are you asking if I had a boyfriend or something? I never really had any strong relationships with anyone, to be honest. Mostly just, um, acquaintances. These plane tickets seem to suggest otherwise. Those. Ah, right. Yeah. The... Yeah, those. Me and the professor weren't, um, super close, I guess. I wouldn't call it a strong relationship. He was the one who bought the tickets anyway. Can you think of any reason why you might have been abducted? I honestly have no idea. I mean, 
it's not like I'm rich or anything. My parents don't, um, don't make too much money, so I can't imagine they wanted something like a ransom or anything. Isn't your father a highly successful lawyer? Oh, uh, he is, isn't he? Well, I mean, I still wouldn't say that, um, he makes all that much. Were you responsible for the death of the other person in that room? What? No way, of course, I wasn't. Did you, did you see what happened to that body? How could I have caused that? When you were abducted, was there another person at the scene with you and the corpse? Um, it's a little hard to remember, but I'm pretty sure it was just me and the person during the, uh, kidnapping. Were you involved in what happened? Um, are you joking? I already told you. How could I have been involved in, in that? Most people with no involvement don't attack the police and attempt to escape. You can't be serious. I was in shock. I had just been abducted and there was a dead body. I wasn't thinking right. You don't seem to have been doing a lot of thinking right. You're still trying to avoid the police and even after requesting this meeting, you continue to lie and mix yourself up with another person. Make it make sense, Darcy, if that's even who you are. I'm starting to think you don't even know yourself. Look, look. I'm just, uh, not in the, the right headspace. Just, just give me a moment and I swear I'll, um, I'll tell you everything. Sorry, but I just don't have time to be led around with lies and excuses. I'll get one of the staff members to take you back to your cell and check back in a week. That should be enough time to get your thoughts straight. Wait, wait, hold on. I don't, I don't have a week. I need to talk to you now. I'm sorry, but our time is up. I can't, I can't let, let you, you leave. leave. What? What the? What the hell is going on? Sorry, but I don't have much time before it finds me. I need you right here, right now. What? What exactly are you? Well, I guess there's not much point in hiding it. I'm not exactly human. I suppose you could call me an entity. One using this body to hide in your world. I'm losing control of my grasp on this reality, though, and I need your help to fix it. You mentioned something trying to find you. What's trying to find you? Where I'm from, there are powerful beings that even I'm hesitant to describe. That even something like me shouldn't bother. But I did, and now it's after me, and I'm not just going to let it take me, so I'm hiding from it. What's the real reason behind your relationship with the professor? He was just someone that knew about the world and was willing to help me. I can't afford to get caught. It's a far greater issue than you think. The 
professor's confession says something quite different. All right, so I had to do a bit of coercing, but still, he helped me prepare for rituals and events, as well as other things. I needed his help. I had to be assertive. Where is the professor now? He is no longer in this reality. He was taken to another. He screwed up during the last event while setting something up. Not sure if he could get back or not. What was the actual reason for this abduction? I wouldn't call it an abduction. No one was forced into it. It was just a ritual to help maintain my control and keep me hidden. We have a witness who testified otherwise. That's, uh, well, I was losing control of my body. I needed to be handcuffed so I could be taken care of. That's all. A misunderstanding. So what happened to that body? We ran out of time during the event. The being I'm hiding from, the hunter, got to her. And well, you see why I'm on the run. Why? Was there a third person at the event, anyway? It was just something the professor decided at the last minute. No reason for her to be there at all. This email seems to say it was planned in advance. Well, I... Look, why are we talking about this third person? They aren't important. Can't you see there are bigger things going on right now? Did you even know who that classmate was? Nobody important. Probably just one of the professor's students. I've got no idea who she might be, to be honest. These records seem to show that you two did a class assignment together. Plus, there was the confusion over names earlier. You called yourself Heather at first. I... are you serious? How is this remotely important? Were you not listening when I said we don't have a lot of time? Listen, we are out of time. I'll need you to recite this incantation to hide me from the hunter. Legline. This is crucial. If the hunter gets me, it will have an opening into this world. It will destroy all life as you know it. No question. Hiding me will save the world. So I trust you know the right choice here. Are there no other options? Nothing else that can prevent this? There is no other way. You have to make the decision. All right, fine. I'll say it. Leg line, curapathinadala. <laughs> My, My thanks, thanks to you. you. <laughs> how how, how will they face my punishment. punishment? What? What happened? Why the hell can't I move? I've done all I can with the patient, but she still refuses to cooperate. She needs some time alone, so please don't disturb her. I'll be back with some staff to escort her back to her cell. This can't. This can't be. That's not me. Don't listen to it. That's not me you're talking to.
Are there no other options? Nothing else that can prevent this? There is no other way. You have to make the decision. <sighs> I suppose an action is a choice of its own. Sorry, but this is just... Forget this. I'll leave them to someone else. I'm taking today off. Damn. Something's just not right here. It doesn't add up at all, but I just can't see what's wrong. There must be more holes to point out, but... I'm sorry, but I can't continue like this. I'll get someone else to take over. So just wait here. Nothing else that can prevent this? There is no other way. You have to make the decision. According to this, I can say this. Chan e f fele oriba. Wait, where did you? How do you know that? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Do you have an idea of what you've done? done? What happened? Is it over? Did I do it all right? Eventually. 